Why? Is he helping us? Oh. JTM, look what I got us for this special occasion tonight, baby! <laughs> Two matching coats that'll make sure I, with your help, arrive at the main event of WrestleMania 11, dripping out of control! <laughs> or, what the hell was that in FAW, mate? Huh? Did I look? Like I needed your help. I had Bane beat, and then you show up, and now people in the comments think we are in some kind of working relationship. Bruv, I'd rather join the Secret Service and lick Donald Trump's boots for the rest of my career than be associated with your f cult. What? Oh God, what the hell are these? These look offensive, bruv! And you think you're the drip god? Have you even seen my beautiful Versace robe, mate? It is drippy beyond all comprehension, bruv! Anyway, what I came here to say was... Keep your nose out of my business! Got it? Oh, Osprey, that's going to be hard to do as long as you retain tonight. Because I'm gonna win that Royal Rumble and then go on to become the two belt messiah at WrestleMania, baby! <laughs> oh, and by the way, I didn't go to FAW for you, I did it for me. <laughs> And now, GCW Wrestling Lipstick Shop present the Royal Rumble. We welcome you all to the second biggest night in GCW's year, second to WrestleMania, of course, the Royal Rumble. Yes, indeed, it's the 11th consecutive GCW Royal Rumble pay-per-view. And after tonight, we will know the main event for GCW WrestleMania 11. Yes, sir, we are officially on the road to WrestleMania, and it's gonna be one bumpy road for everyone competing in the Royal Rumble match, but we gotta kick it off with the tag team titles! First ever tag team casket match here in GCW where you have to put both of your opponents into the casket to win the matchup. who shocked the world last year at WrestleMania when they captured GCW's tag team titles. But some people considered them transitional champions, proven by the Paul brothers once they eliminated them from the tag team Royal Rumble. But now they're looking for another chance at regaining the gold against the Judgment Day. Yes, they had two successful tag team championship defenses, one at Extreme Rules, which was voted one of the best matches of last year against Rollins and JTM, then another defense against the Street Profits in the lockdown cage. But here come their opponents, the newly crowned GCW Tag Team Champions from the Tag Team Royal Rumble. Like you mentioned, Sting and Darby Allen eliminated rather quickly by the Paul Brothers. And Edge and Jeff Hardy, the longest lasting team in that Tag Team Royal Rumble, outlasting all the other teams to win the GCW Tag Team Championship. Now this is a very interesting matchup, and I'll tell you why. G 
Jeff Hardy has laid waste to his daredevil days. He is no longer going to try and hurt himself for the fans' sake. He's made that very clear a long time ago. But he's in there with Darby Allen, someone who does anything and everything to win, including become that very daredevil that Jeff Hardy hates to see himself as. So now, it's a clash of wills, a clash of styles. Who will come out on top? This event is very special to Jeff Hardy. Two years ago, at this very event, he ended The Undertaker's GCW career in a casket match. And if you ask me, Jeff Hardy and Edge should be forever grateful for Will Ospreay and the United Empire because if it weren't for them, Roman Reigns would be holding those titles up over his shoulders. Yeah, but after tonight, Roman Reigns might be holding the GCW World Championship over his head as we still got that huge six-man tag team match coming up later tonight between the Bloodline and the United Empire. The bell has rung, and it's time for war! These two teams never have done battle with each other, but now it's the first time in their career, and they're not going to let up! Yeah, nice counter there by Jeff. Uh, throwing Darby throws first onto the ropes. Huge shot there by Sting. Going up against Edge and Jeff Hardy at the same time while Darby Allen's down. Sting has never been one to turn down a fight here. Here goes the Stinger Splash. One left. And it's about to be a doozy here. Spears and oh, oh, Spear! Spear from Edge right off the start. Edge just took care of the icon with the greatest of ease. Yeah, what a counter by Edge. And now the Judgment Day is in total control here. Oh. Huge elbow there to Darby Allen. Darby Allen doesn't know what hit him, and Edge is reveling in the hatred of this crowd ever since the Tag Team Royal Rumble. Oh no, screw that. Ever since he joined up with Jeff Hardy in the Judgment Day, Edge has had a new attitude about him here in GCW. But you can't deny that Edge is way more than more successful than he used to be. Oh wait, but Darby Allen just found a chair. And if Jeff Hardy doesn't want to get extreme, Darby Allen's going to make him do it. And here comes Edge trying to hit some kind of offensive maneuver there. Darby Allen not going to let him. Wait a minute. Up the top, trying oh. to go for that coffin drop, but Edge, Edge, Edge caught him. German suplex, Darby Allen lands on his feet. No! Oh. Huge drop kick to the knee of Edge. And now Edge is down. Darby Allen looking for the steel chair once again. Oh, God. What could he be thinking of here? Edge trying to get his bearings. No, Darby Allen, he's too small to lift Edge like that, and Edge knows it. Huge elbow to the back of the neck of Darby Allen. Wait a minute. Off the ropes here. Wait, Darby Allen trying to hit some kind of wheelbarrow maneuver. Oh, no. Got him in position. Oh, oh God! My God! Edge with the electric chair drop. Yeah, I got it this time, didn't I? On to Darby Allen through that chair. And honestly, I thought Edge might have clipped the back of his head, but no, he's safe. I was going to say, Edge has a pretty bad neck. We all know it. So he has to be careful with maneuvers like that. And now Jeff Hardy wanting to take care of Sting, but oh. Sting is not going to let up. Back first against that podium. One team has to make sure that both members of the opposing team are inside the coffin. Or casket, if you want to get technical. And now Sting, looking for the Sting. But, but there's Edge with the low blow! A staple in Jeff Hardy's oh. move set as he finishes off the twist of hate! Just like that. I don't know if we can really call it the twist of hate. He forgot to do the twist. And now Hardy, thinking it might be oh, over, thinking what? it might be Oh, oh, wait! No! Could it be? Is he here? Do my ears deceive me? Jeff Hardy, looking like he's just heard a ghost! Is he in the casket? The crowd, they're waiting to see. Go ahead, open that casket, Jeff. See what lies ahead of you. 
Look into the eyes of death itself! Can oh no! Why do I keep falling for this? Just like last year, Hardy fooled us. You have got to be kidding me. Jeff Hardy is the lowest of the low. And so is Edge and Evil. And now Darby Allen, wait a minute, he's up on the top edge. Oh, oh. God! Oh, there goes Evil too! Tumbling over the top! And now, Darby Allen, looking at Edge with murderous intent. But he focuses his offense on Jeff Hardy. Oh my God! Oh my God! Jeff Hardy just pulled the Hulk Hogan and slid down the slide. <laughs> he did. And now Sting. And now Sting, looking to take care of Edge. One more try for the Stinger death drop. But maybe this time into the casket, he's thinking. There we oh go! Oh God! Spiked him onto the coffin, and Darby Allen is but looking no. to make sure Jeff Hardy follows him. But evil had other intentions. They're Sting with the splash from the top and now laying out the hands for evil. But Jeff Hardy and Edge are getting their bearings together as Darby Allen is helpless there. Oh, God. Face first onto that podium goes Sting, courtesy of Jeff Hardy. And just like that, the Judgment Day turned this match into a handicap match as Evil is now setting up a ladder here between the ring and the barricade. Evil now setting up a ladder. What could he be possibly thinking? Darby Allen is now... Ah. Oh, God, a stomp from Edge onto the steel steps. Darby Allen's done. And now Evil is looking to take care of this old fart in Sting. They're looking for Darkness Sting falls. Sting trying to struggle free. Oh, oh, he got it. Evil loses his grip, and Sting is now helpless. Or is he? He sees the bat, the patented, iconic baseball bat. If he gets that, he has but a oh chance, no. but Edge thought twice ahead. Yeah, Edge is not going to let that happen. Two steps ahead is the ultimate opportunist. Now mocking him. And now he has but the oh. bat, but oh! Edge! Bearing witness to Sting, taking a page out of his own book with that low blow. Yeah, a revenge from earlier as Sting is taking the bat. And now Sting gets his bat back. And now Evil and Edge have no choice but to face the wrath of the oh. icon. Oh my God, just bashing it across the skull of Evil. And now Edge waiting for Sting to come back around. He's looking for that spear, but there's Darby Allen from the top. Where did he come from? Out of nowhere with the skateboard foot stump into the back. Sting and Darby Allen are looking to prove themselves to the GCW faithful by regaining the Tag Team Championships. And now Jeff Hardy, he's all alone. He's the only one left conscious here, as it seems. Darby Allen and Sting oh, stare no. down their prey. And now Jeff Hardy is trying to hightail it out of here. But Darby Allen says, screw that. You're coming over here. You're going to take this ass whooping, whether you like it or not, bitch. And now Darby Allen going up the top. Jeff Hardy is in deep trouble. Is he going to hit the coffin drop off the top? Look, through the top? Wait a minute. There's it. Wow. No freaking way. A huge spear. Up the top through the ladder. He just killed Darby Allen, no doubt. Not even a daredevil can survive that. And now Jeff Hardy with the steel chair to the back of Sting. Telling Evil, oh, to make it more convenient to put Sting into the casket. I guess so. But, but why would he be getting another ladder now? I don't understand this. Sting is an absolute peril here. Hoisted up on the shoulders of evil, Jeff Hardy awaits. And now Sting being forced to climb that ladder to the top to meet the Antichrist above. This is ridiculous. This is, wait a minute, this is, oh. this is the same thing that happened to Undertaker. Again. When Jeff Hardy buried no. him. Oh my God. 
Hardy paying homage to him burying The Undertaker once again. Twist of hate from the top onto the casket. And now Darby Allen getting dumped like a piece of trash along with his mentor Sting. And that's it. Now when am I going to catch a break? How much longer am I going to have to see this prick win? I have no idea, but since he turned to the dark side, he's winning a whole lot. Whether I like it or not, the Judgment Day reign supreme. And they're going to WrestleMania with the titles. Sarkozy, you did a great job exposing the dirty tactics of that Mickey Mouse. You mean Vince McMahon? Yes, and our righteous actions are not done yet. We have to save those penguin warriors from the evil Donald Duck in the skybox. You mean Nacho and Escalito? Yes, they are still held captive in the skybox. I know it. We must save them. Uh, you remember Danny told me I could be in WSC and meet stage creator? I get so excited, but then... He kicked me in the ball, but I still want to be stage creator. <laughs> uh, do not cry, Sock. One day, I, Joker John Moxley, will take you through the multiverse to see the stage creator. Really? Oh my god, Joker John Moxley is the best! Yes, but first we have to take care of business. The Nacho Man needs us! But how are we going to do that? You're so strong, and I can't find my Captain Crunch Maple Syrup. I can't fight without it. We will not fight, Sarkozy. We will use our brains and wits. Ha <laughs> ha! It's time to go undercover. Let us go. Hello, how do you do? And now, ladies and gentlemen, this match right here, some call it a grudge match. But everyone on this damn planet can call this a dream match to behold for all ages. The United Empire versus the Bloodline. Let us take a look at the story behind this match. You've got some real nerve, Roman. I'm at the top of my game. You're nowhere near my radar. We're both minding our own businesses, and yet you just had to waltz into my division and demand that this be offered to you on a silver platter. That's the issue with your kind, isn't it? The great Samoan dynasty already decrees the Roman Reigns as GCW Champion. Well, there's just one issue with that, Rob. And he's sitting right in front of you. Osprey has just made it personal with the bloodline and Roman Reigns specifically. A spoiled, pampered brat like you has never truly experienced what struggle is. Me? I don't have that dynasty. I don't have an entire bloodline of generational wrestlers to lift me up when I get knocked down time and time again. The only person who has my back is me, myself, and I. This is what it all boils down to. You were handed your success. Born into it. I fucking earned it. And because of that, my empire is built on inspiration. Your bloodline stands with you by obligation. You don't know nothing about me, Osprey. My family doesn't carry me. I carry my family. 
Your path to the top led through a couple of cruiserweights smaller than my damn leg. You know where that easy path led me? Flaming tables, exploding barbed wire, a cage of death, and you wanna sit there and insult me by saying I was handed this? The only thing I'm gonna get handed is that GCW Championship at the Royal Rumble. I am in misery. Can the tribal chief dethrone the kingpin? After I smash you and bring your whole empire to the ground. And then, it's back to the ground for little Osprey. I'm sure you can find a spot at Ultimate X again while I go on to make this company some real money as the champion it deserves. At the Royal Rumble, it's the Bloodline versus the United Empire. Everything on the line. You say all I have is a big mouth. The way I see it, mate, all I have is a big target on my back. And just how it's always been for you since your start here in GCW, it'll be a target that you will never hit. GCW World Championship, but will tonight be the night where all of that changes? defenses so far in his title reign has Osprey against my cousin G-Man and the most feared member of FAW's roster, Bane. Now we want to thank you our patrons who make this stuff happen here. There's also a bunch of perks like early access on customs and behind the scenes stories of GCW. Tonight might be Osprey's, no screw that, the entire United Empire's biggest challenge yet. Roman Reigns has gone on a tirade as GCW Extreme Champion along with his bloodline by his side. But now things have gotten very much different in this grand scheme in his career here in GCW when it comes to the ladder to the top. Right now, Roman Reigns thinks he's on the last rung. And there's already a person occupying the top oh, of the mountain, uh, and that is Will Osprey. Think, and now just doing another one of those he's uh, extreme garbage trying to six negotiate with Earl Hebner here. This is going to be a traditional pro wrestling match, all right? Wait a minute! Wait no a minute! No tables, no barbed wire, no nothing. Just straight up. He's trying to make this six-man tag a, just a traditional one and Earl Hebner is telling him that he can't do it rightfully oh, so well, you better talk to Vince using that wee head pace of yours bro tell him regular rules or we will walk straight back to our locker room what? are you kidding me Osprey's making Vince. demands to Earl Hebner Vince, and threatening to just walk away what from this matchup it's on traditional rules. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? There we go. How, what kind of power does Osprey even have here? All he has is the world title, and he's already booking matches the way he wants them to be booked. <laughs> what kind of crap is this? No 100 I don't get it either. No glass panes, and suddenly no Shrek. My God. Honestly, this is this is unbelievable. Even yeah. Roman can't believe it. This guy's just making stuff up on the fly. This is ridiculous. I, I agree. can't believe this. But I guess here we go. Yeah, well, with that, I guess this is a traditional six-man tag. 
starting off with Gunther, the right-hand man of Osprey, and Jey Uso, the right-hand man of the Tribal Chief. Now Jay immediately locking in a headlock, no! but Gunther just too strong. Oh my god, just like that, Gunther chops Jey Uso down to size. And remember people, this match is for the GCW title. So that means Will Ospreay doesn't even have to be involved in the finish of this matchup to lose everything he's gained thus far in his career. Oh, kiddos, enjoy some great professional wrestling here. Or have you already kicked off? Due to nobody having fallen off the ceiling in the last Osprey, 30 seconds. Once again, doing what he does best, talking that good, good stuff against his opponents here and the people watching. But he, have, he has to be careful here. This is going to cost him big. Wait a minute. Oh! Just like that, Jey Uso with a super kick and a neck breaker onto the champ. Nice and now counter. tags in his brother Jimmy. Osprey's on wobbly legs here. Here comes Jimmy. Oh! Huge elbow to the face of Osprey. The champ is in trouble here. Whoa! Wait a minute, whoa, wow. my God! What a head oh. takedown by Osprey, and he just knocked his lights out. Yeah, he did. The world champ will never fall. Osprey shouting to the distance at Roman. Pro wrestling is and now Osprey here, huh? once again talking that good trash. You go and watch MDT. Yeah, he just cannot Put stop himself. in a box for the 27th time. Jesus Christ, that come on. That sounds exciting. Oh, speaking of bro, his wife paid me a visit again last night. Are you serious? And she oh, a friend. Oh, what, what was her name again? Hmm. Oh, right. Naomi. Oh, <laughs> of course. Do you have anything better to do? You're in the middle of a match, Osprey. There's no time to be trash talking here. And Jimmy Uso does not like the fact that Osprey name dropped his wife. Of course. And now, but the there, oh, brother. No, there's fear to break up. The offensive maneuver attempt there by the what? Bloodline. Oh my God! Just feels. Because he so yeeted him off the ring and there's Roman by himself. Because I'm coming to dinner. <laughs> Osprey saying that he will be the new head of the table there. As the Usos are now helpless on the outside. Osprey looking for that Oh my god! Caught him in midair. What a right hand from the tribal chief. The head of the table took the head off the kingpin, alright. You just look at that. Oh, he basically twisted him in mid-air. Oh, but there's Spear and Gunther to even up the odds. Mm. And Osprey's hurt from that right hand of the Sasuke special. But now Jimmy. Oh, my God. What a super kick to the jaw of Will Osprey. Osprey's got to be down and out here. One, two. Osprey still kicks out. We're only in the beginning moments of this matchup here. I can feel it. This is going to get crazy. We only just started here as Roman is helpless, but to take those chops from the ring, get her out. Wait a minute. Oh! Jimmy Uso from the top, taking down Gunther, and Roman Reigns fighting off Veer. Right in front of Johnny Figs there. Jimmy Uso now in the ring, telling Roman to get to his position so he can tag him in. Whoa! But oh, no, Osprey had it scouted. Drop kick to the back, knocking Roman off. Sonata, mate. Too fast for you. Do I need to slow myself down, Roman? These people want to see Osprey go head to head with Roman Reigns one on one, but Osprey knows better than to let that happen. Oh my god, Oscutter, wait a second. Jimmy able to block a pop up. Oh my what a counter! Oh my god! But what oh. ingenuity from the champion! And they're stupid <laughs> taking the head off of Jimmy! But look, here comes Roman. Watch! And Gunther finishes off the combo with a German suplex. The United Empire has got combos for days. Oh my God, wait a minute. Veer now having one of the Usos in his clutches. Their power bomb to the outside. Jimmy escapes. Oh, but there's a big boot knocking them back down into the ring. Veer has just been an unstoppable monster. It took Brock Lesnar and a bunch of weapons to stop him at all. Jimmy Uso able to dodge catastrophe there, but there's no one left to tag. Yeah, Osprey making sure they're taking down Jay. And Roman still not quite recovered. Oh, 
Veer from behind. Jimmy Uso's in big trouble. Tries to elbow his way out of it. Off the rope. Oh, oh loose best press by Veer. Using his entire body weight as a weapon. Yeah. Veer such a bull, bulldozing Jimmy here. And now he might be having something more in mind. Wait a minute. Oh, it's a gurry by Jimmy. He might have just knocked Veer out cold. But there. Roman's open. Roman wants the tag. There. He's got it. Roman's in the match. He's going head to head with Veer. Oh, what a close line there by Roman. Huge jumper cut to the face of that monster. Big boot to Gunther. And now Roman is just cleaning house. Oh, what a headbutt. And now Roman. Irish whip into the brother. Right off. Nice big boot right to the face of Veer. And oh. Osprey on his lonesome here. Staring face to face with the head of the table. Roman Reigns is noticing that Osprey has gone pretty quiet so far here. The people want to see it. Champ versus Chief. It's time here we to go. go, baby. You will never, ever beat me, Roman. You got that? Osprey telling Roman that he will never beat him. But that oh. remains to be seen. As Veer takes the head off of Roman from behind. And Osprey reveling in the hatred of this crowd. Say what you want about Roman. But at least he gets stuff done on his own. Unlike a search Will Osprey. Oh, what a Uranagi by Roman Reigns. Nicely done. Down goes Veer. And here comes Gunther. And there's another one. Hunter Gunther and Veer. Both at the same time. Two for the price of one does Roman. And now he's looking to finish off the combo. With a razor's edge power bomb onto Veer. Look at the strength of the triple chief. He's got it. Oh, my God. He might have just landed on his neck. Yeah, he might have landed on the back of his head there. And Roman has to take advantage. And now Roman, boys to strike here. Letting out that triple back. Osprey! No! Oscar! Oh, period! This is it! My God, I thought that was it! Osprey! Soaring through the air with an out of nowhere os cutter, just as Roman Reigns was at the precipice of getting that championship on his waist. Now that Roman is down, Osprey tacks himself in. And now Osprey looking to hit that hidden blade. Will it only take one? It took three to take down Bane. But Osprey. Oh, spear! 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 spear by Roman! Oh, oh, my God! Gunther saves the day again! Proving again to every doubter of Will Ospreay that he is indeed the only reason he is champion. Yeah, I mean, Gunther has proven himself so useful for Will Ospreay to keep that championship. And there's Veer. Veer once again tackling Roman. But and there's Jay taking down Veer to the outside. Look! Oh, oh, no! Another one! No. Another one. Second time of the night! Oh. Roman still kicks out! Unbelievable! Yeah, amazing show of strength by Roman to kick out of the second Oscar cutter that we have seen here tonight. You absolute fucking dickhead. Osprey insulting the tribal chief right to his face here. That's not gonna bode well. But Osprey's looking to do very well here against the Roman oh. Oh, the Superman punch right to the mush does Osprey! Osprey's down! Osprey might be out! Roman Reigns is getting his bearings here! Superman punched the fear! Roman Reigns is on the road to WrestleMania by becoming champion here, but Gunther! Oh my god, he damn near put him through the ring! Super kick by Jimmy! My god, this is fast and furious! These men are just all over the place here! As Osprey is now alone with you Roman once me. again! You won't! Telling Roman that he will never beat him, and he might just be right. What? Oh, no. What a counter! Get into the ring, Osprey. Will Osprey's in trouble. Oh my God! All the people that are passed out in the guillotine. Roman Reigns trying to squeeze the life out of the champ, like he's done to so many others. He's done this to John Moxley. He's looking to do it to oh. Will Osprey. Oh my oh. God! He's out. He's, he's out. out. Hold the match. Hold the match now. We have a new champion. Earl takes.
Taking his sweet ass time to call the match, but look at this, Osprey trying to alleviate the pressure. What ingenuity by Osprey, but he has to be careful. Oh, oh, no. oh God, no. oh God, no. Oh, I knew it. I knew he had to be careful. This was too good to be true. Osprey's about to die here. Oh, we put what? back in. Look at the strength of Osprey. Oh. Pop up into oh, the oh, house. Oh, 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 the broken race. This is insane. My God. This is absolutely incredible as Will Ospreay is looking to finish Roman off. Stormbreaker might be coming through here to Roman Reigns' tribe. Wait a minute. Back body drop. Ospreay lands on his okay. kick to the mouth of Roman. And now Ospreay has another chance. Third off cutter. He wants it. He's this will be it. For Roman. Roman caught Ospreay. Roman is Come down! On, get up! Tell him to get what? up! No, there's a close line! Oh, it's a wrap! Zero that punch! Zero that punch! Insane! What an exchange by these two legends at the making! Osprey doesn't know what to do with himself, but Roman has an idea! Here comes another spear! No! What? God! Spanish fly! What a counter by Osprey! This is indeed awesome! And Osprey taking this moment to claim his right to be the one of the very few to take down the tribal chief at his own game. From yeah, behind. Late. Here comes the oh! Doc, Doc, once again, does Roman. Oh what? my God! Flipping Dean and Terry! Oh, and Roman takes out once again! I can't believe Osprey. it. The look on the champ's face says it all. He cannot fathom how Roman Reigns was able to kick out of all the punishment he's gone through in this matchup so far. Yeah, I can't either. The tribal chief. You're like the tribal point, if you ask me. Go yeah, fuck no, yourself, bro. Roman becoming victim to some more trash talk by Osprey. Keeps going back to the One more cutter. time, signaling for the Os cutter. But the caught. Time of the night. Wait a minute! Oh, the Usos! They caught Osprey! He's helpless here! What in the world are the bloodline thinking? Wait a minute. Roman! Ray Force! What? Spear. What? Spear. This Spear. is it! What a move! This is it! New champ! New champ! No! What? No. What? No! Able to pull the ref out of the damn ring! My god, I thought that was it! Gunther is Osprey's insurance policy around here, my god! Oh, and there's Jay over the top taking down Gunther! And there's Jimmy doing the same to Veer! Roman and Osprey are putting on a clinic here for all to see, but Roman has had enough and he just wants to go home with that championship right there! Wait a minute, wait a minute, what? Where's he going? What? He's grabbing the title. I think oh, he's yeah. ready to claim revenge for what Osprey did to him at the Tag Team Royal Rumble. Osprey better watch behind him. If Roman smashes his head with that belt, this could be the end of Osprey's title run. Yeah, this would be it. Roman Reigns. Clutching at the belt. This is it. Wait. Oh. oh, what a counter by Osprey. German suplex from the champ. Oh. No. And Osprey once again. Two steps ahead of Roman. Planting the championship he holds so dear to his heart into the face of Roman. And now Osprey looking for that hidden blade. Here it is. Solo Mikoa. Solo is here. That kid right there, Baby Uso himself, is the true MVP of this matchup right now. And he's looking to take revenge on Osprey. He was victim to a complete mugging by the United Empire several weeks ago. And now, Osprey's in very much big trouble when it comes to Sola Sokoa. Indeed. He wants revenge. He's already busted open, but it's about to get a whole lot worse. Trust me, Osprey. As Sola Sokoa is poised to strike with that belt. Solo. 
So look. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Roman Reigns stand down. telling Solo to stand down. Stand down. He wants stand to do it. Down. He wants to do this his way. No. But Solo Sokoa, no. he really wants to take Who revenge on Osprey, but he's taking his sweet ass time to decide what Who to do. Now, Every second counts, especially when you run no. in the ring with Will Osprey. Yeah, in a world title match. No. No. Solo Sokoa putting down the belt, but did he do the right thing? Roman Reigns eyeballing his little cousin as he leaves the ring, finally leaving Will Ospreay at Roman Reigns' mercy. Spear! Oh, there it is! Spear! This is it! The kingdom is Roman! What? He kicks out! There's Are no you way! Are kidding me? Goes the honorary use! Nick Gage with a glass paint because why the hell not? To the dismay of Will Ospreay and his United Empire, things are about to get extreme! That's where I'm looking. Now, you this. It's gonna be fucking over for Osprey, you hear me? It's gonna be over. You're gonna be the new champ, and everybody's gonna fucking bow down to you. Roman doesn't know what to do. He wants to beat Osprey, but is this the way to do it? Oh, he says screw it! Yeah, Roman he's says going screw for it! it. And now we're going to Oh, 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 oh my god! Face first into the glass! <laughs> Drop kick! Courtesy of the Kingpin! Roman is busted open! Hit it! There it is! Knockout shot! Oh my god! Look at Nick Gage! Jay and Jimmy are getting held back! Is this it for the Tribal Chief? Is this it for Roman? It yes! Is. Osprey retains by the grace of God! That is what I call a war. But in the end, Will Osprey keeps his title, keeps his namesake, and keeps his throne at the top of the GCW mountain. And with that, it's official that Osprey is defending the World Championship in the main event of WrestleMania 11. Roman came in here like a trained assassin, but Will Osprey knows more than anyone what it takes to truly live up to that moniker. Indeed. But we have a 30-man Royal Rumble coming up, determining the challenger for Osprey. Or, this is the real world champ himself, Will Osprey, speaking on behalf of the FAW GCW Superstore. And before you mocks go and call me a sellout, this is a one-time gig. So the dickheads who run this eBay operation better be grateful. So, what am I here to sell you? Well, a one-of-a-kind item that's only here for a limited amount of time. And that is the greatest championship in all of Pickfed history itself. The GCW title. My very own baby schnookums. The one thing that forced me to be able to afford this beautiful Versace robe and my beautiful penthouse from. Now before you slimy cunts get too excited, this is not my championship. This is a one-of-a-kind replica that you can now find on the FAW GCW Superstore on auction. So do get your bids up and running. And before you little kids get on your computers and your mom's credit card, don't you dare waste my time bidding absolutely endlessly for no fucking reason other than you really want the championship. It don't work like that, bro. It never works like that. So before you go on eBay, make sure you actually have money, unlike most of these garbage pig feathers in this community, mate. So what are you waiting for, bro? Get on the FAWGCW Superstore, bid your ass off for this one-of-a-kind item, and maybe this will be the closest way you can ever get to this glorious championship. 
I'll be waiting to see what kind of numbers this makes. There, you happy now? Jimmy. Jay. Where's your brother? Are you deaf? I said we're solo! I need him right here, right now, so I can talk to him! But to hold on, my tribal chief. It's not solo <laughs> fault, it's... It's, it's my <laughs> fault. If it weren't for me, I, I brought the glass pane out there, and you were supposed to <laughs> spray up with it, and... Oh, shit, I'm <laughs> sorry, my tribal chief. I ain't trying to hear stories. I want to hear solutions. Solutions that you two are going to figure out for me. I want both of you to tell your brother that his rumble spot is mine. So we can just sit back here and reflect on how long it should take to do what I say. My tribal chief. I have a spot too. This is all my fault. Osprey got away because of me to take my spot in the rumble. and I don't deserve it. You know, it's funny. It seems like the only one in this bloodline who owns up to his mistakes ain't even real blood. Now that's what I call a banger. What do you think, illegals? Please, senor, you, you have to let us go. This is, this is not the way. I'm uh, sorry. I don't speak taco. Sorry about that. Mr. Dump? Huh? Oh, Danny. It's good to see you. Are you ready for your big night tonight? Ah, yes! The Mercer Man is always ready! Now that's what I like to hear. Now, I might have a surprise for you after the rumble. It might actually be time for you to finally get some bitches. Oh no, I would never objectify women like that. What? I said objectification of women is something I would never take part of. Wait a second, wait a second. Wait, you're not Danny. Uh, yes, that's right. We are the police. Mr. Dump, you are being arrested. Officer Sock, get him. You oh, shit, I knew it was a matter of time. No, you won't take, take me alive. I won't go in there. <laughs> that should buy us some time. All right, penguins, let us get you out of here. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Uh, this is harder than Den Harrison has thought. Uh, Sock, get over here and help Den ha uh, uh, the Joker John Moxley with this door. <laughs> oh! uh. Well, shit. Oh, gracias, senor. Thank you. I am forever in your debt. We are forever in your debt. How can we repay you? Well, you can join me, Joker John Moxley, and my goof group on the next stage of my master plan. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought your name was Dan. <laughs> It is Joker John Moxley to you. Now follow me. The following contest is the 2023 Royal Rumble Man. The last man standing will go on to the main event. TCW WrestleMania. Is it, ladies and gentlemen? Where stars are made, along with the main event of WrestleMania 11. And our first entry is the man, the myth, the legend, the messiah of extreme, Seth Rollins! Introducing first, at number one, is the TCW Extreme Champion, Seth Rollins! This man right here may be considered a crowd favorite to win this matchup here tonight. But it's gonna be a long mountain to climb, especially with Seth Rollins drawing the number one entry of this match. Yeah, we have seen Rollins' confrontation with Osprey earlier tonight, and he sure wants to become the two belt messiah. Oh my god! There is no freaking way Seth Rollins is gonna survive for more than 30 seconds in this match when that man is 
staring down the aisle as the number two entrant in the 2023 Royal Rumble. And gonna need a miracle here. He's gonna need more than his disciples. He's gonna need divine freaking intervention. That's what he's gonna need when he goes face to face against the beast incarnate. Yeah, this could be really, really bad for Rollins. Oh my god, look at that smart move by Seth Rollins avoiding everything, but maybe that wasn't such a smart move after all. Trying to strike, and look at him, he's laughing it off. Brock Lesnar is not playing around here. Yeah, as he takes down Rollins. Now going for the German suplex already. Brock Lesnar has tried time and time again to get back on that title picture here. Oh, God, he's going to bulldoze through anyone in his way to get back to that picture. Yeah. Since beating Kenny at Mania, he's been wanting to get the GCW Championship match. Seth Rollins is no stranger to fighting oh, Will oh. Osprey himself as he almost eliminated the Beast right then and there. Brock Lesnar has had some interactions with Will Ospreay in the past in that fatal five-way along with Rollins. Both of them working together to try and take down the Beast. This is dangerous. Yes, Rollins is no thinking pedigree on the apron. But our Lesnar shifting. And now Rollins is just hanging on by the rope. Lesnar trying to get him out of there. This is very, very dangerous. But Rollins able to save himself. Now Rollins finding his way back into the ring. Very snake-like, if you will. But Brock Lesnar right back on the attack with a German suplex. Wait a minute. Rollins trying to fight out of this as we wait for our next entry. And there he is, Baby Uso himself, Solo Sokoa. And Roman Reigns was not very happy with him. Earlier tonight after he lost that match against Will Ospreay in the United Empire, Solo Sokoa, who is he really fighting for in this Royal Rumble? Himself or his bloodline? Yeah, that's a good question, but here's the matchup I'd love to see. And I think Brock Lesnar likes the challenge. Oh, oh God, right on the head of Solo Sokoa. Wait a minute, but he's right back up. Oh, oh my God, did you hear the sound of that? Wait a minute. What is Solo what? Sokoa? No. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God, he was this close to defeating and eliminating Brock Lesnar. But Brock hanging on to dear life there for Solo Sokoa. And now Rollins trying to eliminate both of them. Two for the price of one special. And now Brock is that shoulder tackle. Oh. And he takes down Solo Sokoa along with Rollins. And now we're waiting entry number four. The action has been fast and furious. But we are just getting started, baby. Oh my! The Intercontinental Champion, Killer Cross, Carrion Cross. One thing's for sure, he's out to become a killer when it comes to Brock Lesnar after what he did to him not too long ago. Brock Lesnar stated his claim as the next Intercontinental Champion only to become GCW Champion along the line. But not if Cross has anything to say about it with that dude Saito. Lord have mercy, what a kick. Yeah, our kick at the Doomsday Saido to Solo. Now, Brock Lesnar back up. Oh. Killer Cross saying he's not done quite yet. Wait a minute. Brock, Brock, what? Come on, oh. over. Just like that, Cross is eliminated. And so are his dreams of becoming GCW Champion. For now, at least. First elimination of the night as we expect entry number five. Here comes the monster of all monsters. Brock Lesnar seems unstoppable in this matchup, but it seems like Seth Rollins has just seen a ghost. If you remember, Seth Rollins was part of the mugging on Braun Strowman during the Tag Team Royal Rumble. And then what the hell is Rollins doing? This is not a great idea. Yeah, I don't think so. And now Brock stepping out of the way for Braun Strowman to oh. eat. Wait, but Brock Lesnar 
feigned that alliance, eats the elbow. And now Braun Strowman with his own pounce to the house. And on to Sola Sokoa. Looking to punish yeah. everybody. Oh, what a super kick to the gut by Rollins. Ducks the clothesline. Wait a minute. Oh, Brock, oh. Brock looking to eliminate Braun Strowman here. If anyone could do it, it's Brock Lesnar. Yeah, I agree. Oh, but Braun still in this matchup. Wait a minute. Power uh -oh. slam incoming to the outside. This could be it for Rollins. Hello. Wait a minute. Solo Sokoa. Oh, Braun. Braun is eliminated by Solo. Solo Sokoa is just stacking all the accolades here. He, elim he eliminated Gunther, and now he eliminated Braun Strowman. And here comes this savage bastard and Jeff Hardy. Earlier tonight, he teamed up with Edge to take on Sting and Darby Allin, mocking The Undertaker once again, like, like he only knows how. And now he's on his way to becoming GCW champion at WrestleMania. God forbid that ever happens. And now, Solo and Brock Lesnar want a piece of Hardy more than anything. Oh my God. Yeah, what a close line by Lesnar. Oh no. God, you were right about that. And I was right about Jeff Hardy's signature move nowadays, being that low blow. Yeah, it definitely is. And now Solo Sokoa is at the mercy of the Antichrist. Twist of eight, him coming here. But oh, just like the tag team roar, Uncle Solo counters. So there's the twist of eight. Oh, no! Oh, to Solo Sokoa eliminating Baby Uso. So much for the bloodline. Number seven. You know, a part of me really wishes he wins the Royal Rumble tonight. What a match that would be. Will Ospreay versus Otis at WrestleMania. <laughs> I'd pay top dollar to see that. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's just no stopping this bulldozer of a man in Otis. Yeah, Brock. Maybe Brock might do it. Oh! That was proven right by the beast. Oh, what a kick there. Wait a minute. Brock Lesnar. Can Jeff Hardy pick him up? No! What a reversal there by Brock Lesnar. He, is, he has been gunning for Jeff Hardy ever since he won at the G1 Climax. He was his first loss in that entire tournament. And now Hardy has a chair. Where the hell did he get that from? Yeah, it seems to be his move set. Steel chairs and low blows. But we are expecting entry number eight. And there's my cousin! For the first time ever in his career, he participates in a Royal Rumble match. And he has vowed, somehow, to get back in the ring with Will Ospreay. But now this is reminiscent of his first match here in GCW against his own rival, Jeff Hardy. And now he's looking for that suplex stunner. Wait, Hardy, oh no! This is all he knows how to do! Somebody, for the love of God, get this bastard out of the damn ring! I'm tired of looking at him. He's not a good wrestler, and I'm tired of people who are pretending that he is! And now what's this? Oh, wait a minute. Twist oh. the leg. Wait a minute. No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, God, no! He might have just snapped his neck there. I'm fighting the urge to jump in there and jump Jeff Hardy and check on my cousin. But I have to remain with oh no, oh, no on, another I was a professional. one. Earl Hefner has to do something about this. Oh my god! Damn right he does. Come on, G, get up, man! Uh oh! Wait a minute! Kurt Angle is here! Yes! G-Man's idol, G-Man's hero, his favorite wrestler coming to the rescue! They teamed up last year against Osprey and Gunther. And Rollins going for the curb stop. Angle slam to Rollins! And now Ankle is here to save G-Man from the attack of Jeff Hardy. Oh. And Brock Lesnar, old rival of Kurt Angle, back with a vengeance there. Wait a minute, Kurt Angle lands on his feet! Oh, beautiful! For an old man, he's still got it! Indeed. Here comes Otis, wait a second. Kurt Angle, look at the strength of Kurt! He didn't quite get all of it, but he got enough. When you're the size of Otis, anything's enough. Look! Look! Oh. Into the yes! Jeff Hardy's eliminated! Thank Jesus Christ! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! 
Amazing teamwork by G-Man and Angle. This is already the best night of G-Man's life already. I think I said already twice, but can you blame me? What the hell? Look at the size of this man! The Nigerian giant, Omos, has made his debut here in GCW, and everyone looks shook! Yeah, I am too, Look, looking at him walking down the ramp. He is just massive. If I were anyone in that ring, I'd be shitting my britches right now. Pardon my language, soccer mom, but I gotta tell it like it is. Lord have mercy, the stature is yeah. present. Oh, wait a minute, my man, Otis, that is not a great wow. idea. Wait a second, oh, oh no! no. You should have just stayed back, Otis! And now, Ankle and G-Man are working together to try to get this giant out of the ring! But that's easier said than done! Oh! In a minute, G-Man able to avoid it off the ropes! Oh. oh, and he just eats shit from the boot of Omos! Yeah, what a boot that was. But oh! This is an interesting face-off. If anyone can do it, Brock Lesnar might but be look. the one! Wait a minute, oh. Omos! Making quick work of Brock Lesnar! Is this the end of Lesnar's uh, run? Back to the title picture! Excuse me! I'm just so distraught over the fact that this monster's in this ring! Everyone going at it! Oh. Everyone getting their licks in on Omos! And now Omos is in deep trouble! Everyone and their mama trying to take oh. out the Nigerian giant and they do! Wait a minute, Rollins! Oh. Trying to eliminate Brock Lesnar, but he still hangs on. Oh God, what a knee to the stomach, the sternum! And now look at this, JTM. In my opinion, and everyone else's, with a brain, can see that JTM is Seth Rollins' most loyal disciple. But that might be to JTM's detriment as of late. All the times that JTM has stuck his ass out there just to get it eaten up. Pause. For Seth Rollins' sake, and now JTM looking onto Rollins. Honestly, Rollins is getting what he just deserves. And now JTM, he looks conflicted here. I don't see why. Oh no! Oh no! Come on! Are you serious? And now Brock Lesnar's gonna make him pay with his oh. oh my God! He damn near chucked him out of the ring. Just like that, for being affiliated with Seth Rollins, JTM is suffering the ultimate punishment, and that is the Beast Brock Lesnar's wrath! Yeah, like he always does, taking the beatings of Rollins. This is just hard to watch, ladies and gentlemen. JTM, wait what? a minute, JTM! Oh. First run out to Brock Lesnar! My God, what a maneuver! Hey, and now Rollins, what the so hell? son of a bitch! I told you to wear that goddamn coat! You know how much I paid for that a coat? He just saved your What the hell? Oh, what the hell man. was wrong with this guy? What the hell, man? He was doing what you know. Now, G-Man, being the voice of reason, he gets silenced for it. This is Rose is a piece of shit. Entry number 12. And here comes the almighty Bobby Lashley. What? Wait, 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 wait. Who's from behind? Is that? It is him. Yes. It's Bane. Seth Rollins shaking in his damn boots! Payback! Hey, he just choked out Bobby Lashley. What the hell is he thinking of doing here? Staring Seth Rollins into the eyes! Oh my god, what, what is he planning? Wait a minute. Oh my god, no! Powerbomb from that high? Don't do it, Bane. Don't do it! Oh my oh. god! Oh my god! Through that structure! Bane just... He just crippled the Almighty and Seth Rollins trying to wake up JTM. And here he comes, Seth. You better run for the hills, boy. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Did you hear the sickening sound of that headbutt right to the jaw of the hardcore Messiah? He's about to get a hardcore ass whooping from the Liberator. He's about to liberate him from life. Landed right on his neck off that German suitcase, and look at how easy it is for Bane just to carry around a man the size of Seth Rollins. Oh my God! No way! Oh God! What a backbreaker! Damn near snapped his spine in 
two. This is what you get when you take the GCW Championship from Bay. Lord have mercy, when is enough enough? And now, he's got him. Oh. That had to feel oh so good for Bay. And the crowd here love it. Seth Rollins stuck his nose where it didn't belong in FAW when Bane fought Will Ospreay for the championship. And now Rollins is gonna eat... Wait, what? Oh. JTM is back up, and Bane is taking notice, but something's off here. He doesn't seem like he wants to hurt JTM. Is it me, or is it... Oh my God, wait a minute! Bane knows the type of turmoil that was in JTM's soul earlier! Oh uh, yes, Mr. Trademark! You wanted to do this for a long time, haven't you? Well, here is your chance, dear. He wants JTM to finally hit Rollins! Oh no! What the hell? He had the perfect chance to card stop from Rollins! Wait a minute, Brock Lesnar oh. taking revenge from the G1, eliminating Bane! I was gonna ask what happens if Bane would. Wait a minute, what the hell is he doing? JTM what? eliminates himself! What? He leaves Rollins alone! I, I am just flabbergasted right now. I am so confused. And you can still see the corpse of Bobby Lashley. Oh, what a knockout punch for Seth Rollins by my cuz G Man! And this situation is just confusing. But here comes entry number 13. Here comes one of the members of the United Empire, Fear. Man and Brock Lesnar had a barn burner of a match back at Extreme Rules. And these two giants going at it. These two kaijus about to destroy the city that we find ourselves in. But Veer puts an end to it with that vicious headbutt. Almost as good as Bane's headbutt. And now Veer just cleaning house here in the Royal Rumble. Wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. No, hang on, G. Hang on. Hang on for dear life. As you can see, Veer trying to pry the fakers away from the ropes. Oh God, hang on, G, for your dear life, for everything you depend on. Hang on, no, 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 uh, he's about to get eliminated. But there's Kurt, Kurt Angle, German suplex to Veer. Yeah, Veer probably got orders from Osprey to go right after G-Man, but now Angle. No, 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 no. Now, Kurt looking to eliminate Rollins as our next contestant is on his way here. The phenomenal AJ Styles coming in at entry number 14. This man set the world on fire for GCW a long time ago. And not too long ago, maybe a couple of years if I remember correctly, he shocked the world when he betrayed Kenny Omega and beat Brock Lesnar for his GCW Championship, becoming a two-time GCW Champion. And now look at the strength of AJ taking down Brock all by his lonesome, which is surprising because he needed the Bullet Club the last time he did that. And now the stare off of a lifetime. G-Man, a new blood here in GCW going head to head with a veteran in AJ Styles. He damn near eliminated him, but now AJ Styles skinning the cat uh -oh, there. Oh, this is dangerous. G-Man up uh -oh. and over. My God, this is close. I cannot bear to see what happens next. AJ ah. with that forearm, but G-Man is still hanging on. G-Man fighting back. Ah. Wait a minute, watch out, whoa! That was close. If Veer hit that knee, G-Man would have been out of the match for sure. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh! What? Wait a minute, there is no way! He's back! Switchblade, Jerry White! And it has to be so poetic for him to run into uh, AJ Styles in the middle of this ring. AJ is ready to throw down with Jay White for abandoning him when he needed him most, if you remember correctly. Yeah, their match at WrestleMania 10, the Bullet Club imploded and hasn't been seen since in GCW. Jay White and AJ Styles in the middle of this ring. Long time no see, but wait a second. Jay White wants to reform Bullet Club? 
That is surprising. Oh! oh! Fingers to the eyes! AJ's in trouble! Blade Runner! Just like that, JY made his statement clear. Wait a minute. Oh my god, sleeper suplex onto my cousin. I think it's best to stay down for a while, G. Oh. Yes, we're now awaiting entry number 16. Who is it? Oh. Wait a second. The innovator of oh. scripted violence and John Moxley goes straight after the biggest man in the matchup so far, Brock Lesnar, making a damn big oh. statement with that pile driver onto the ramp. John Moxley is not messing around here tonight. And now look at this Moxley going after each legend one by one with that pile driver. Yeah, Moxley just seems way more aggressive. Brock is still feeling the effects of that and eliminated does Kurt Angle. I don't even know if that made sense, but you get what I meant. And now G-Man trying his luck there, but he gets put oh. down just like the others. Now AJ Styles wants to try his own luck there. Now that chokehold applied to AJ. And now those strong style elbows right to the neck. What the hell? No, come on. What the hell is this old fart doing here? Again? I thought he learned his lesson back in the G1. Apparently not. He is coming back for more. Are you kidding me right now? What the hell is this old guy thinking of? You're not that special anymore. Oh, there it is. Wow. Wow. The best move in all of wrestling. The leg drop from Hulk Hogan. Get this old guy out of here. This is not the retirement home, baby. Get out of here. Hold it right there, dude. I'm going to hit him with the best leg drop in all the wrestling. This man is just desperate for the spotlight at this point, man. This is sad. Here I go. Now Moxley playing along. What the hell? Thank you, boy. Now it's time for the best. I'm going to kill this dude with this leg drop right here. Yep. Oh, wow. Moxley took his jacket off. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, Get him, Mox! Get him! Make him wish he was never back here at JCW! And now there it is! Yeah! I know he did that to my cousin a little while back. But right now, it feels so dead away, man! Brock Lesnar back with a vengeance! The Beast is not too happy! Oh, my God! Pain to get suplexed on the outside. There goes Hulk Hogan, thank Jesus. Could you imagine if he actually won the Royal Rumble and went one on one with Will Ospreay? Wait a minute, oh! What a counter! Oh, there's the Blade Runner right there! Reversal! Hey, from the suplex in, huh? It's your time to shine. Oh. You better make me oh, yes. the president in this country proud. Yeah. This it's is your time. moment. What? Oh my god. This cannot be true. In front of all these people here, whether they like it or not, I can give less of a damn because I've got to win the big one. Up there. Did Trump buy yet another spot in a rubble match, but this time it's for Danny. Oh my god. I remember the Secret Service portion of the Tag Team Raw Rumble, which was just terrible. And now we seem to be getting another. You don't have to worry about a damn thing. I'm going to make the family proud. Uh, 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 come on. Come on. Don't be afraid. Okay. Straight your stuff, Danny. We got this. We got this. That's it. That's not for you. You've never been a thing, Danny. Well, we're expecting the next entry. Hello! The legend! Jushin! Thunder! Liger! Wait, wait, I thought he wasn't in this company anymore! What the hell is he doing here? Jushin Liger! I completely forgot you were still employed! You remember all these years ago, Danny stole his one horn and sold it for a hundred thousand dollars, apparently. 
I know That's what you're going to do. Show them what you are, Danny. Give them the old ones you choose. Well, That's what you got to do, Danny. That's what you got to do. That's what I would do as the U.S. president. Yes, I know you want your other horn back, but it's gone. But listen, we can cut a deal Oh no! He stole the other horn! He took the other horn! Oh no! Come on! This is ridiculous! Now Liger does have no horns left! What? Oh my god! Oh my god, look at this face off! I don't know if this is a match I would want to see or not. But it seems like we're getting here. Payback! Today! Oh! There goes Danny! He's eliminated! And Trump! Oh my god! It is that simple for Dan Herzen to dispose of pure evil such as you! The only one to be pure evil in this company is Dan Herzen! A year ago, you were cursed by Denhausen, and now the curse has come full circle. For you have done a great job dodging and ducking and dodging and ducking Denhausen every which way and how. You've tricked Denhausen, you've made a fool of Denhausen, you've insulted Denhausen, you hurt Denhausen, but now you will fight Denhausen! What? Fight him at WrestleMania! No way! This is the end for you, Denny Housen. The time is ticking, the clock is moving, and what Den Housen has done with you, you will eat soon! Oh. Well, it seems like the first match for WrestleMania 11 is official. I don't want to hear a freaking word out of your mouth about that, alright? Oh my god, I hope my president is okay. You actually think I want to fight that freak? I'm gonna have to talk to Vince about it or something. Well, here comes the American Nightmare into the Royal Rumble. There's AJ. These two are sworn enemies. Oh God! Cody Rhodes going guns blazing. Oh! Are you kidding me? I thought I thought Liger was eliminated. Wait, well, now he is. Through the second rope, but yeah, now he is. Oh, well, I got oh, the better of that. There goes Jay White. I got the better of that old guy. Oh, oh what a super kick. kick right to the side of the head. But Lesnar holds on. Oh. A kick from Rhodes. Cody Rhodes misses. missed the mark there. AJ oh. Oh. almost eliminates the nightmare. But Jay White pulling AJ outside. Sleeper suplex. No. It's AJ and Jay White. What? Peter Cody. Cody Cutter at there. AJ Styles. Eliminated from the Royal Rumble! Cody Rhodes finally gets his victory over AJ. As we are waiting our next contestant here. It's the Rated R Superstar representing Judgment Day, Edge. Yeah, one half of the tag team champion. And how big would it be for Judgment Day to win another Royal Rumble this year? Earlier tonight, he ended Darby Allen by spearing him through a freaking ladder. Let's see how well he does in this Royal Rumble match. John Moxley looking for that power driver. Wait a minute, Edge had it scouted. Spear to Brock Lesnar! Wow! Edge is on a roll here. Wait a minute, Yuranagi from... Oh! Jay White, but Cody Rhodes able to hold on. Edge tried to hit that spear. Got that hot shot instead. Jay White is still in the match. Cody's in the match. My cousin's still in the match. Going head to head with Rollins. And here comes the legend killer. Or former legend killer, I should say. The Viper and Randy Orton. 
RKO right off the bat! Wait a minute, no, no, get out of there, G. No, 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 it's not a good idea! I told you to stay back! Moxley gets one as well. Blade Runner there by Jay White, here it comes. Wait a minute, oh. RKO! What the hell? This is just an what? RKO party, what? but no. not for Brock Lesnar. Apparently he wanted nothing to do with that. And there goes Randy. Thanks for coming, buddy. Randy was on a roll, but Lesnar just had him scouted there. As now we're expecting entry number 24. This is rather interesting. Evil is no slouch. He's a pretty big mamma jamma himself. Brock Lesnar is the last one standing so far in this Royal Rumble, and he's waiting for this guy to come right in. Oh, he tries to go for that clothesline. Oh, God! A little bit of payback from the last time these two were face to face back in the G1. Yeah, I remember and that. Evil didn't take too kind to that. Just a clothesline there. Charmant suplex to Brock. Nicely There's done. Something you don't see every day. Now G-Man working on eliminating Jay White there. He oh. almost got it. Disaster kick from Cody Rhodes takes down Evil. And Edge does the same to Cody. And now Jay White fighting free with G-Man. And Mox going after Edge. Now Evil putting a stop to Moxley's onslaught onto his partner in the Judgment Day, Edge. And now Evil suffering the consequences. And there's a drop kick from behind by the Rated R Superstar. Oh! What the hell? Shinsuke Nakamura, the King of Strong Style, is here. Oh my God, what a kick to the throat of Edge. And he knocks the hell out of Brock Lesnar. This man's feet are on fire uh. so far. But so is Evil with that vicious clothesline. Decapitates Shinsuke. But there's that running knee from Mox, takes down Evil, and now look at Eliminator, oh. there he goes! Evil's out of the matchup, but now Moxley might be in trouble there, but he hangs on. Edge, not quite done yet. Ducks that oh. the back end. God, this is tough. G-Man has been through so much. I don't know how long, I don't know how much longer he can take it. I don't know yeah. how much longer he'll last in this Royal Rumble, but he's fighting for his damn life! Oh! No! Look at him! He's still hanging on! The heart of G-Man knows no limit! Oh! Oh! oh. Mox pulled the rope! tried to go for that spear, and Moxley just had to be the party pooper! Nicely scouted by Moxley, kind of saving G-Man there in a way as well. Oh! Oh! Oh, God! The Tribal Chief! With that bandage around his waist, wearing the battle scars of the absolute war he had with the United Empire, walking valiantly Spear. in this Royal Rumble match, and he speared the hell out of Mox. He's just cleaning house once again. Lord have mercy, he turned him inside oh. out. Oh, oh, And he no. makes short work of Cody once again, reminiscent oh. to last year, and there goes Shin. Oh, God, Spear to G-Man! Roman just cleaning house. Wait a minute. Jay White being the only one to avoid it. You're a oh. doggy by Roman onto the apron. Jay White is out of here. Roman is in a mood. Oh. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, God. Come on, G, just hang Look on. Brock. Just hang on. Brock looking to eliminate Roman. He's dead close to doing it. Yeah. Oh. Spear by Roman to Brock. Are you kidding me? This is insane. Even though Roman is clearly not at 100% power, he's still hauling ass here. Yeah, and we're coming to the end. We're expecting entry number 27. What? What? The Texas Rattlesnake! The man who books GCW Extreme! Stone Cold Steve Austin is here! And he's laid out a can of whoop-ass onto the tribal chief! The head of the table is about to get his head cut off by the snake! Oh. Roman with that uppercut to Austin. Austin, after getting brutalized at that exploding drug war death match... Stunner! Stunner! Roman! Stunner to Roman! He's about to get eliminated! Oh. Wait! Roman ducks out of the way! Austin holding on! 
Oh no! Rollins! Oh my God! Stone Cold Steve Austin was fun while it lasted, but now here comes the franchise, the runner-up of the G1 Climax. Yeah, he was so close to that GCW Championship opportunity, but tonight is another chance for John Cena to get back there. I'm sure Cena would love to get his hands on Osprey after Bane took that opportunity from him so long ago. If he wins the Rumble, he may just do that. Yeah. Oh, what a knockout shot to John Cena by my cuz. That's right, G. Make your oh, moment late. Oh. Cena. AA time. No, no, no. Come on, G. Play out of it. Oh, what a kick. That's right. That's right, he's still in this. He's still in it. Number 29. It's Brian Daniels. Oh, oh there he is. behind. I didn't even see him. Oh my oh, God. Strong side. Kicks. Kicks a plenty from Brian and Moxley. Just, they're just, they're just brutalizing everyone in this matchup. Jesus Christ! These two are just more aggressive than I've ever seen them. Seth just got knocked back to next week. Yeah. And as you can see, my cousin's now busted open from that kick from what Brian. Planning now. And now oh, Brian no. and Mox are just stomping. Oh my God! Into the faces of Rollins and Cena. Oh my God! Look. Lord of mercy! These two have none. Attitude. Yeah. Now Brock Lesnar putting a stop to it. Wait a minute. John Moxley and Brian with their tails between their legs running away from Brock Lesnar. That's not very characteristic of John Moxley, if you ask me. Well, but, but it hey, is strategic. Anything's possible here in the Royal Rumble. And this is our last contestant, number 30, Gunther, who won this entrant number by beating my cousin one on one on GCW Live. Yeah, and you know the history between Gunther and Lesnar. Oh, oh my God. God! The main event of WrestleMania oh, no, Rollins eliminated. Gunther makes short work of oh. Rollins and Cena. My God! Two eliminations in a row, and Gunther's oh. looking to oh. do the same to No way! He has the Kamora lock. How poetic is this? No! No! no. Oh my God! Eliminates Gunther. Did you see what? the way his back snapped on the apron? His side don't even by Brian, but Lester pulls on. There's Moxley, Paradigm Chef. Oh my God, what a kick. This is insane. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. From behind, Gunther has Brock Lesnar trying to get back. Oh my God, oh my Jesus Lord Almighty. Through the table right in front of us. I think it's safe to say that Brock Lesnar is eliminated. And now Brian making sure G-Man doesn't move. And I don't think he's gonna after that kick right to the head. And now Brian and Moxley oh, no. are looking to eliminate both these contenders. G-Man holding on to dear life. Roman doing the same. Brian trying to pry his hands off. Roman. But he caught it! The evil caught the laugh. kick! Oh! G-Man catches the leg of Brian with the dragon through leg Oh! Larry Roman by takes Roman! The head off of Moxley! Brian and Moxley, even with the impression! It collects! Oh! There they Roman. go! There they go! The and this is the last Oh two. my god! Come on, G! Come on, G! You can do it! Spear. No! No! The long spear! Close. Like a flashlight! Oh Lesley my god! With the spear! The no! He's about to no. We're running back 
the best match of 2022 in the main event of WrestleMania 11.